Hello and welcome to Only Fools in SCFC. Back with another video, um, match review of our absolutely fantastic five star performance against Southampton this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> apologies for the throat. Uh, it's been an absolutely fantastic day um, celebrating all the goals. But uh, you know, let's get straight into it. So after what's been a pretty tough week, you know, players linked with being moving away from the club, we've had a, a decent transfer window, we've kept our important players in uh, in Clark and Roberts, etc. And today Jack Clark showed why we had to keep him, you know, um, absolutely fantastic. But we started off where we had um same team as last week, Anthony Patterson in goal. Um we had uh, Trey Hume, Dan Ballard, Luke O'Neill, Dennis Sergan, Dan Neil, Pierre Egwa, Jack Clark, Abdullah Barr, Bradley Dack, and Joby Roberts up front. Uh, Joby Roberts, Joby Bellingham. I will keep on saying Joby Roberts, Joby Bellingham up front. Um, <clears throat> and the game couldn't have got off to a better start. You know, they were pressing from the first minute. We break away. It's it at speed. Ball gets fed up with Trey Hume. Trey Hume with a cross, and there's Jack Clark coming from the back post. It is a space to, to head in, you know, to make it 1 in the in the first second minute. What an absolutely fantastic start. The place was rocking. Um, couldn't have asked for anything better against the team, you know, who were fancied to, to dominate the ball, who were, you know, fancied to, to beat us today, actually. You know, not many people would have expected us to get anything to do. Um, and it was a fantastic start. Then when you think it couldn't get any better, then we get the second one. And, you know, Pierre Ekwa, he's been threatening to do this. Remember, he did it in pre-season um, in one of the games, long-range shooting. Edge of the box, long-range, bottom right-hand corner. Fantastic goal, 2-0. Um, and that sets the tone from there. You know, we, we, were, we were pressing high. We were all over them. You know, we were breaking the lines. We were exploiting the space what they were leaving when they were they were sloppy and giving the ball away but that was due to our high press and um, pressing from the front and uh at half time just before half time there's a, a Pierre Ekwar again with you know what you think's the match the match winner um three 0 just at half time again another long range shot and um, finds the bottom corner two fantastic goals from him to cap off a perfect um first half the only downsides in the first half were um, the performance of the referee. I thought he was absolutely shocking. Um, blown for fouls that, that, that weren't fouls. Um, missing fouls that, that were fouls. Um, built Abdullah Bar for diving in the first half. Then, you know, Jack Clark was on a mazy run. He's brought down on the edge of the box. Not even the yellow card, you know. So you can see why it was David Coote, why he was demoted from a game because of his, far, his VAR debacle. Um, last weekend and it kind of showed um, and then second half you were expecting them for to make changes you know Russell Martin won't have been happy with that first half display from them they did make two changes at half time they brought Jay Adams on and Ryan Fraser um, to see if that would change the game and Fraser did look lively when he came on but perfect 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 response 48 minutes Bradley Duck First goal for the club, I think it was Abdullah Bar again, put the cross in, and there's Bradley Dak for a tap at home, it's 4-0, and from there you can relax, it's pretty much game over, and then it's all about us managing the game out to see it till the end, you know, I think it was 48 minutes, so we've still got most of the second half to manage the game out, you know, hopefully stop them from scoring, and then use that time to give some of the younger lads a run out, and that's exactly what we did, Pritch came on, um, Emir came on, Joseph and Bennett came on, uh, and we basically controlled the game. We were just sitting back, waiting for them to, to give the ball away, exploiting the space in behind. And Emir felt sorry for him. I just wish he would have, he wish he could have gotten his goal. Um, Dan Neil plays him through. He's through on the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, the goalkeeper just gets him. I think he, the goalkeeper does hits him on the side and goes out for a, a, a corner. You know, it would have been great for to see him get a little bit of a confidence boost and get him a goal. Um, but then right at the end of the match, a lovely moment. Jefferson Bennett with you know two or three fantastic um step overs and, and you know step arounds. Um skins there two defenders, the ball then comes back to him, he whips in a lovely cross, 
And there's Chris Rigg, bullet header, bottom corner, goalkeeper couldn't keep it out. It's 5-0, great moment for him. I think he becomes the youngest ever player in the championship, other than um, Bellingham when he was 16 in a, in a few days earlier. So, you know, almost another record breaker, but fantastic to say it was a great header, great finish, you know, and to cap off an absolutely fantastic, perfect day. Um, can't speak any harder the lads today, like I say, from, a, from what's been a tough week. A tactical masterclass from masterclass masterclass from Tony Mowbray today. Got his tactics spot on. So he exploited the space and behind what they left. Um, and we were absolutely fantastic today to a man. Team team ratings, you know, I can't really fault anybody. Um, man of the match for me, Ekwa <clears throat> would probably be close because of his two goals and his all around performance. He, he just gets better week in, week out. But I thought Jack Clark today was unplayable. I thought he was absolutely tremendous driving at the heart of their defence. Um, he was actually going on the outside for a change, which is where I think he causes more danger because people ex expect him to go inside. Uh, so Jack Clark for me, man of the match, but the whole team, you know, from, from 1 to 11 were absolutely fantastic. Even the subs when they came on. Abdullah Bar, a big shout out for him. You know, I've been critical of him over the past few weeks, but I thought he was he was really, really good today. You know, he was better with the ball, better with his delivery, and, and fair play to him. But all in all, a fantastic five star performance heading into the the um the international break. Couldn't give, couldn't wish any better. Like I said, hope this we can kick on from here and, and keep our season on and hope we get a result of QPR when we come back. Um let me know your thoughts are in the comments below. Who was your man of the match today? Um and I just want to finish with uh with one final comment, which is are you watching Ross Stewart? Thank you very much. Take it easy, stay safe, and we'll speak soon. Ta-ra.